I really, really enjoyed this film. It's so sweet and has such a powerful message behind it. But I wanted to ask each of you, what about this book and these characters really made you think, yes, I have to be a part of this? Oh, man. I mean, it's just Nimona, right? Like, if you've read the book, if you see the movie, you're going to fall in love with this character because this character is... It, she can do anything, right? She can transform into anything, uh, but she's this mischievous ball of punk energy. And at the core of all this mischief is somebody who just feels misunderstood. And it's something that is extremely universal that we can all relate to. Um, but Namona has also made this incredible connection with the LGBTQ plus community. And that was something that was very important for us to get right, to honor that connection and uh, to just tell that story in a big cinematic way. I love that that Nimona is this sort of self-assured, unapologetic character uh, when she comes in to the graph novel, but also the movie. Like you don't often see stories about, um, you know, you know, teenage young women who come in knowing who they are. It's those journeys are always like, who am I? What? And they're, you know, and Nimona just comes in and says, this is who I am, you know, like it or not. And, and, and in being that and embracing that and, and colliding with all the other characters around her, like Ballister and Goldmoin actually improves their lives. You know, at first it doesn't seem like it, but they, they become better people for, you know, that association. So I think it was just, it was a, um, a really interesting way to, to tell a story. And, and these characters are, I think super memorable and iconic. Absolutely. And I love what you've said about Nimona. I mean, just how powerful her character really is. So I wanted to ask, I mean, how excited are you to see people react and what do you hope like young LGBTQ people can take away from seeing a movie like this? Oh, I mean, I so it's so exciting for us. I mean, there's so many fans of the graphic novel because you know Andy Stevenson just created this amazing you know book and this this art. So it's it's exciting for us to have the movie start to get out there and have people react to the movie. Some some people who react to the movie and go like, oh, I need to go read that book. You know, and it's nice to have that sort of exist in that in that world. And I think it's you know Riz Ahmed who who plays Ballister. I mean, the one reason we cast him is, is he speaks very much about you know, diversity and inclusion in media. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a huge reason why we reached out to him and asked if he'd like to, to join us on this project. And I think that's so important for for people from different communities um, and different backgrounds to be able to see themselves reflected uh, in media. It, it makes people feel like they're seen, like they're not alone. And I think if the rest of the viewing audience can, can sort of take that message that Nick was talking about, that idea of of just seeing people, you know, getting to know them. Um, I think that would be an amazing thing for us, for, for the audience to walk away with. Absolutely. And I really feel like this cast was amazingly picked. I mean, each of them have such a big presence that they bring to this film. And just to wrap up, Nimona has so many quotes that she says that are so wonderful. Do you have a favorite from the film? I think one of my favorites is something, something, something we win because man does that explain life right it's like <laughs> absolutely dude, there's a lot that i've a lot's being thrown at me i don't know what to do i don't know how to figure it out but i know we will right and uh i think that's such a, a fun little small but powerful message yeah it was i agree mine too and it's funny because when we were crafting that with nd it really was just we needed to just throw something out as she's running in this comedic sort of crazy moment and over the course of it it really has taken on a resonance that was a lot bigger than we had anticipated, but um, I, I agree. And we just, we screened the film in, in France and uh, the French translation of that was blah, 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 victoire, which sounds so, uh, so much more fancy. So I, I, I kind of still love it, but maybe with the, in the French. It works in all languages. Oh, it's universal. <laughs> it's universal. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Congratulations on the film. It was wonderful chatting with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. you.